hello there welcome back to the second part of our wig revamp class which is um hairstyling basic hairstyling Tada! welcome to my beauty channel <laughs> thank you for sticking around my name is umar here you're gonna learn everything hairstyling tips the business of hair so let's continue so now if you didn't see the video on revamp it's going to be attached um somewhere in the video towards the end and the link is also going to be in the description so we're just going to be creating basic coils and the tools we're using is this um small um rod um styling tool we call it a rod um some other people call it um styling wand okay so now um, you see the hair is shiny, sleek because of everything that went into this hair, like the product, the process and the procedure and all. Now for this, you really don't need to apply any other thing. Um, if you want to, you can apply your heat uh, protectant, but I did not. So very importantly, can you see what she did there? She did this and straightened it down. So there's no pin attached to this. Depending on how coily you want your hair to be, you can leave it that way or you can continue with the second procedure you're going to see her do. So the second procedure is what we'll be doing or incorporating throughout till the end of this video, which is where we, we style, um, get our coils and use a clip. We call it... Um, uh my goodness it's a very popular clip you know that's it yeah, the black one right there that's what we use to hold it the essence of this is that we want it to be very coily or more coily than uh, when we just coil and let it drop at the by the time we're done okay so uh like i was saying about the products you need to use you don't need to use any other product because you have gone ahead to deep condition with the product and you have treated this so the only thing you'll be spraying or using on this is your um spray your holding spray you can use any one you could either use shadow i don't like shadow because shadow is too sticky so find ones that are less sticky i'm going to be dropping um in the description below all the products that was used in this video so just have um have a good time watching the video to the end see how she goes about styling always remember to cut in smaller pieces when you cut them in smaller when you um cut your wigs this when you section your wigs in smaller pieces is easier to manage okay so yeah we did not record, record about 12 steps <laughs> but yeah that's what it looks like and we're still not done okay so you spray when you cut a section of it you spray your hair spray the setting spray is supposed to um give you an extra hold you know like a little crunchiness for lack of better words and then you hold it in for at least 30 seconds but you can hold it for 15 seconds depending on how hot you want it to be remember it is hair darling like just imagine this is your hair it doesn't need to do you don't need to keep it on with that heat for so long otherwise you continue to cause damage to your hair no extra shine was added to this um for record purposes because there was no need to we had gone ahead to deep condition and treat and as you can see it all has it lost its um lushness and it's so you know it's just so clean and it seems like we've applied the serum not one single serum was applied to this wig so just watch and we're going to continue all through till we get to the top mm -hmm. So for the sake of this video, I also want to add that um, suppose you are not revamping a wig. Suppose you just got a hair and, or a wig and you just want to style, right? You, you're not going through the whole process of revamping. Yeah, the basic steps you need to follow is first, um, you're going to brush out your hair, of course, to detangle it and make sure that there's no knots. Then you are also going to proceed to use your heat protectant. Please always use your heat protectant especially when you did not revamp or deep condition and treat as we did in our revamp um, class the video like i said will be attached to at the end of this um, video right 
so use that and also use your hair serum you can use lotus oil or any argan oil argan oils are best please do not use olive oils if you must let's say you are that's the only available oil close to you mix it with water okay i know you may say water and oil don't mix but try it and see and tell me the result so just sprinkle small a little water on your palms and then um you apply the oil very little and you use it to massage very well into the hair before you begin one this is going to help you get this um, lushness you are seeing and the shine you could clearly see from this video and also is going to prevent your hair from breakage so you're not going to put your hair under so much stress and you're also going to enjoy your hair for a long time so if you see how she's creating the coils she holds the hair firmly and rolls it over the styling wand okay so yes remember to brush it in sessions just follow the steps it's easy honestly um the only difference between you and someone who has been um practicing for years or someone who has been doing this for years is the practice it's the intentionality in it right so you can't just watch this video today and then you don't do anything about it and you pick somebody's wig after maybe two months and you want to get this best result practice makes perfect i mean like that's just what it is practice makes perfect all right so we're just gonna continue all through the end enjoy Baby bad, baby good, baby all the things I need My baby bust up the silence, bust up the silence My baby bad, my baby good, baby all the things I need My baby bust up the silence, bust up the silence Baby fell in my dumb and he likes on me Go down on me, oh with that gun that body and welcome back hope you've had fun so far so now we've moved to the lace area of our wig which could either be a lace frontal or a lace closure for this part we're going to be needing two essentials one is your hair wax your wax stick which keeps every strain hair together you're gonna see as she applies that please it's a wax like i mean you could want to say it's like a a candle wax so if you put so much of it you're just going to be taking your hair back right to where it was before you did any work on it okay then you're going to also need your um your hot comb so if you saw earlier she used the hot comb so you could either use a hot comb or this um coiling wand we didn't proceed with the hot comb because it was not hot yet we had just plugged it and so we had to you know what instead of waiting till that is hot and it was an opportunity to show you that irrespective of whether you have the hot comb or not it should not be an excuse to not have your edges slain like that top gotta slay you need to snatch it snatch it well okay so now you know um if you have the styling wand it's fine you can go ahead to use that so we're going to proceed to um, flatten the top area all of it 
and create the style pattern we want either a center part or a side part or a c part okay or probably you just want to do something all back so for this video we're making a center part and just continue watching through to the end to see how she does that so yeah we proceeded we went back to use our our hot comb i love hot comb because i could use it very comfortably and easily even when i have the wig on my scalp like on my head okay all right so of course you know you need to comb out if you don't detangle your wigs well you won't be getting the best of results and you'll just be wondering why you are struggling so yeah that's how to go about and we're done congratulations you made it to the end of this class Woo! like you need to see me hyping you right now <laughs> you've officially become a pro at wig revamp and at least basic styling you know how to lay your flat edges you know the products to use you know the tools to get you know what to improvise on okay i am so happy 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 for you there are other styling techniques you're going to need to learn like straightening the hair and you can always get free resources on here on youtube and subsequently i'm also going to post some for you and i'll definitely let you know about them to be able to get all of this notification please click on the subscribe button like this video so that when next i post another video you two comment and, and your recommendations and also comment and share with your friends thank you so much for watching and do have a good time